Welcome to this quick tip guide. In this video, we're gonna show you how to change the colors and the fonts so that you can get a different feel for the narrative UI and change the default navy and green styling. So let's get into it. Today, I'm gonna be using the uh, Narrative Pro example project. It's linked on the product page. In your project, I would highly recommend making a plugins folder and putting a copy of Narrative Pro in that folder. And what that will do is it will make this project have its own copy of Narrative. The problem is if you have it installed to the engine and you change the styling, every single project that uses Narrative Pro, its styling is gonna to change too. And that's probably not what you want. So I'd really recommend making a plugins folder and drop Narrative Pro in there. Another thing you might want if you're following this tutorial is a font. So I've got this Sinzel font. It's kind of like a medieval style and I've just downloaded this. Once you download it, you'll get some of these true type font files um, and these are what we're going to be using. But feel free to use any font you like. You don't have to use this one. Okay, so we're here inside of the MetaHumans demo project for narrative. And if I hit play, and look at the UI, you can see it's got that blue and green default styling. And we're gonna go ahead and change that. If you close your play and edit a session with the UI open, there is an Unreal breakpoint that gets triggered. This is an Unreal Engine bug, it's really annoying, but you can literally just click continue. That will only happen if you close the game with a common UI up on the screen. I hope Epic get around to fixing that. I think it might be fixed in newer releases. In my project, I've just made a fonts folder and I'm just gonna drag Sinzel into that and click yes to make a font. And I'm also gonna drag in the bold version as well. And this time we're gonna click no, we do not need another new font asset. So here's the font here. And I'm actually just gonna rename this to Sinzel font. So we should have two font faces and a font. You can see we've got default. I'm gonna call this one regular. And I'm gonna add the regular one again. And then I'm gonna add the bold version, which we can just drag that in like that and hit save. So now we have a new font imported. Now, if you save and you go into Narrative Pro content, if you don't see Narrative Pro content, just make sure you go to show plugin content you want to go to Narrative Common UI, Style, Master Styles, Text, and you can see Text Style Narrative Master is in here. And to change the font for all of the UI, all you need to do is click on Sinzel font. It is that simple. And we'll make the size a little bit smaller because this Sinzel font is a wee bit bigger than I would like it to be. So we might go with sort of 28. You might have to play around with that to get it to where you like it. Play, you can see already all of the font has changed. Look at that. Pretty awesome. This is a common UI feature. You see all of the UI and narrative is built in common UI. And it uses these common texts and common text have a style asset selected. And because we swapped the style out, it's changed all of the fonts. It's pretty incredible. Now, of course, if you need to do some more complex styling, right? Say you, you really wanna change something major, like you wanna delete this entire thing here. Um, you could, for example, do that, right? Um, the style assets are more for changing the, the style, but if you really need to change the actual layout of things, you will have to go into these assets and remove certain things. Changing the colors is a wee bit more involved just because we give you a bit more control over what you want to change. So we're gonna to go to Project Settings, Narrative Pro, and go down to User Interface and select the colors that you want. So I'm gonna go with this sort of dark brown and bright orange scheme. So you wanna select a primary color and then an invert color. And I like to just keep this open and we can use this to copy and paste from. So if we go to master styles, borders, and open the menu background grid, I'm gonna copy my brown color by doing shift right click. And then I'm gonna shift left click that color in there and compile and save. And you'll notice that the grid background is now changed and the loading screen uses the grid background. So if I hit play, you can see that loading screen was brown. 
but the inventory uses the blue one, so we have to change that. So open up border style, solid primary, and solid invert. And also outline primary and outline invert. And you just want to paste those colors in, right? And there we go. That's all of those updated. Inside of the text, you want to go to text primary and open the master primary text up and you need to change that color. You need to go to master styles button and change all of the button styles out. So you want to open up narrative master. And there are some slight changes to some of the hues, but I'm just going to make it all the same orange. If you want, you can sort of play around with making them slightly different hues for when they are hovered and disabled and things like that. But I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. You also need to open up Narrative Master Thin Outline and Narrative Item. And you'll need to put your orange in there as well. Appears to be updated. Let's try this out. If we hit play now, yep, we can see that's more or less done. Now, one thing that will not be updated though, is you can see this text here is still green. To update that, that is actually located in the narrative inventory folder. And you need to go to narrative UI, assets, rich text, go down to bold glow, and then just change the color out there as well. And that's it. You've now basically replaced all of the styling.